how are you guys doing? It's the Pixel J here, and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jay, and today we are creating Belladonna Cove's orphanage. Yes, ma'am, or yes, sir. This is an orphanage for the Newson family, and the caretakers for now will be the goodies. So somewhere along this build, you're gonna see me like get an influx of money. <laughs> That's from the Goody family, so I added them in, like, kind of later on, like, halfway through. But, hi! Hi, 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 hi! It's been a while. How have you been, guys? I've been doing okay. Um, mental illness has not... I don't have... I don't know if I have a mental illness. But depression has not been kicking my arse lately. So, I'm a lot more happier than I was in December and January. But, you know, I'm still got a ways to go, like most people. But... Yeah, how are we doing? So right now we're at the living room segment of this speed build, if you will. I mean, it is a speed decoration at least. I'm not good at building in The Sims 2, so I decided to get a pre-made house that I'm going to tell you the address a little bit later in the series. I am starting a rotational play for Belladonna Cove, but it's the house that's right next to the Contender family or the Contender man. He's a single elderly man living by himself trying to chase after young women so I'm excited to play him I'm gonna see I'm gonna try to come up with a story for him because I'm sure he's not gonna be excited to have an orphanage right next to him I'm sure he's gonna you know be on a be a little pissy about it you know piss his little old ass diaper but anyway yeah so at this point of the video, you can see me trying to map out the floor plan for the upstairs, taking breaks here and there, and you know, I finally got it together. I did the rest kind of off camera, so I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to, what, what is the word? I didn't want to just be sitting there building all the time. So yeah, this is a 17 minute speed build. It took me about an hour and 49 to really get this decorated and really get this you know, how I wanted it. And, you know, I don't have the best decorating skills, but I do have some. And I think it's a nice build for what I can do because I'm not, like I said, I'm not good at it. Outside, it does kind of like a prison. Um, <laughs> uh, um, yeah, but <laughs> again, trying my best here. And I'm still on the living room portion. This is probably going to take a minute. Um, my ideal for this, I was kind of like trying to do the most colors that I can. You know, I know how babies and children like colors to kind of, you know, I don't know, mature their minds or foster growth or foster imagination or whatever, whatever. So in the children designated areas, there was a lot of colors. I didn't make it like a fishbowl. Like I could have made it like a fishbowl style. So the parents could have run in the potential parents could run in and kind of treat the children like a, I guess like a zoo, but I decided against that. I decided to just have a designated play area and you're going to see me build that in a minute for the kids. So yeah, I'm going to stop talking right here and I'm going to come back when it's time to.
kitchen slash living room. So I just wanted to make it very generic. So again, the parts where there are no kids or it's not kids designated areas, they are very generic, very plain brown, stuff like that. You know, something that kind of fits more of the goodie style, I guess modern day, you know, elderly people style. I spent a lot of money on the kitchen. By the time I realized it, I was already running out of money. So at some point, you're going to see me move in the goodies again and kind of do their combined incomes. But right now, I'm just trying to map out the kitchen again. I did like the original style of it. So I was like, you know what? We're just going to keep that, you know, put the refrigerator on that side, the refrigerator on that side, put the stove on the other side. And I did want to get some two more chairs because we only had six chairs in the living room, if you will. It's living room slash kitchen. So, <laughs> so we only had six chairs there. So I wanted to make sure that there was two more bar stools for the whole family to eat or most of the family to eat at the same time. So, yeah. How has everyone been doing? This part is going to end pretty soon. But while it's going, I just want everyone to... Tell me how their day has been. You know, give me some comments because it's rare. It's very rare. Uh, it's very rare that I have comments. So, you know, I'm just trying to farm engagement, I guess. I don't know. But yeah. So I am. Let's see. Let's say that for the Bella Jonah Cove rotational play, this will be the last family that I play. Um just to make sure that nobody else needs kids to be adopted out. Um, I don't know how I'm going to play that per se because I guess the kids would need to be adopted out immediately for the rotation. Or maybe they don't, but... Oh, we're now at the um, caretaker's be bedroom. And again, I wanted to make this very generic, so there's a lot of grays and... It's very mundane, if you will, but I do think it's a very lovely bedroom. It's very nice. And, you know, it's always available for the caretaker to repaint, unlike everything else. You know, the kids' room is going to stay the same, bathroom, living room, all that's going to stay pretty much the same. But the caretaker's room, however, is going to be changed periodically. So we just left the bathroom. So now we're finally, finally at the kids' play area study area if you will and I I I like it you know I think it's cute <laughs> um I'm sure somebody could be I'm sure somebody could do this a little bit better than me um I don't see me ever like really replacing this orphanage so I might redo the kids room at a later date when I feel like it's more befitting for stuff like that so in this room there are desks there are bookshelves um a chess table is going to come up painting it's really for skills. I um, mean, it does have some kids' toys in there because I couldn't fit all the kids' toys in the room. I knew that, that I wouldn't be able to do that. So I went ahead and put it here. Now, you're not going to see it in this video, but I do do like a, like a playground. I, I do add a playground in the back, in the backyard. Again, that's something I just kind of did off camera. And yeah.
making it to the upstairs area. So right now we're working on the girl and boy nurseries. I decided to separate the two to just kind of make it easier for me to be able to see who's where and, you know, designate it. You know, it's not, you know, it's not, you know, gender conformality. It's just to make it easier, to make it, put them on the system. So, yeah, these are, I think they came out pretty nice. Um, For some strange reason, I didn't, I couldn't figure out how to do the quarter towel placement. <laughs> I couldn't figure out whether it was control or enter or how to do it or I don't even know if I typed in the cheap right. So a lot of things in this build, I don't know if you could tell, are pretty much off-centered. But again, these are the girl and boy nurseries and there's not much to say about this. It's just generic nurseries that I think came out pretty well. You know, I think it you know, had a lot of room in it, and, you know, again, I think everything pretty much matched pretty well, and yeah. bathroom I decided to go ahead and split the toilet and the shower again to make it easier for more than one person to be able to use the bathroom and as you can see here I'm duplicating counters and you know making sure that there's continuity in the house the showers are cheap so I'm wondering how long would they last with uh, people continuously using the in and out but right now we're just you know trying to see what works and what doesn't work the bathroom does work so more than one person can in fact use it and you know get it together so yeah now we're moving on to the girls bathroom i'm just duplicating it as you can see here we're getting a toilet a shower and yeah this will be the girls bathroom <laughs> not much to say on the bathrooms i don't really know what to do for bathrooms i try to get some decorations in here and try to see what worked and what didn't work and eh, I just couldn't make it work but yeah I don't know why I had those expensive stainless sinks in the beginning but here we are but here we are coming up on the girls dorm or the girls bedroom that's designated um and we're talking about people that was assigned female at birth so you know I'm not sure you know how much non-binary or trans I'm able to play in The Sims 2 but I'm gonna try my best to have that inclusion in. So for right, for right now, this is just f people who were assigned female at birth. And I think the goodies would pretty much have that old fashioned sense. So that's why I'm kind of like doing that. I feel like when we do eventually get younger caretakers because the goodies would not be alive for, you know, very long, <laughs> you know, they can't be a caretaker forever. When we get the younger caretakers, you know, it's probably gonna be more inclusive bedrooms and inclusive you know ideologies and stuff like that so yeah I think at this point I was just trying to add the desk locators because throughout the house I wasn't adding desk locators so yeah here we are at the boys dormitory I was trying to make it or boys bedroom whatever you want to say I was trying to make it as generic as possible so that's why the the comforters don't really match or the sheets don't really match the bedroom walls. I'm trying to allow every child to have their own personality as much as they can in a generic shared living space. So I didn't want to do too much of, oh, oh this is, you have to sleep here because you're a boy. I mean, not that. I didn't want to do too much of, you know, again, matching comforters with the wall. So I didn't put any posters on the walls or pictures on the wall, again, to allow those Sims to have a personality and do what they feel like they need to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this special edition of a Sims 2 speed build, if you want to call it that. I guess a speed, a speed renovation, if you will. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week. 
yes, finally, next week on my Belladonna Cove rotational play. Bye-bye! <laughs>